Hello everybody, British Bob here, how do you do? Today we're going on an adventure with Spongebob and Patrick and taking a look at all of these playset and toys. And we'll also be unboxing the Spongebob airplane, together with the Bikini Bottom submarine bus, which comes with sound. So my little friends, grab your sunscreen and follow me to Bikini Bottom. Today, Spongebob and Patrick are going on holiday. And as you can hear, they've got their alarm set as they need to get up early in order to get to the airport on time. Let's head into Spongebob's pineapple house and say hello. Ah yes, obviously he's still sleeping. But looking at his alarm clock, it looks like it's going to go off in three, two, one. Oh, morning Spongebob. Oh, look at paper, I wonder what it says. The Krabby Chronicle. Plankton's chum made of your chums. I knew it. Right, SpongeBob, when you peeled yourself off the floor, I'll see you outside with your luggage. I'm just gonna go and see if Patrick's up. <laughs> Judging by that snoring, it sounds like Patrick's asleep as well. Let's open up his rock and see how he's doing. Yes, absolutely out cold. But on a plus note, at least it appears he packed his case the night before. Come on, Patrick, time to get up. You got a plane to catch. Ah, oh, hello, SpongeBob. Ready for the off? Patrick's still snoozing, but don't worry, I'll get him up for you. Come here, big fella. There you go. And your suitcase. Okay, well now that you boys are eventually up or peeled yourself off the floor, tell me more about this holiday. You've managed to get hold of the cheapest of cheap flight tickets, Patrick. Well, okay, I just hope it's not cheap for a reason. And the fact we've already lost two hours already, I think we'd better get going as quick as possible. Ah look, Squidward's also up and he's relaxing on the roof of his house. It must be in the knowledge that his neighbours are going away for the week. Just look at his face. That's what pure happiness looks like. So Patrick, let's just close up your rock. I mean, you can never be too careful these days. And Spongebob, I know you don't need to worry about home security, as you're leaving Gary at home all on his own in the bathtub. Poor Gary. Okay boys, this is it. Sun, sea, sand and... Let's face it, not the best of starts to your holiday, but at least nobody was hurt. Ooh, morning Squidward. Anything broken? Nope. Great. And it's probably a good job they're going away for seven days, because I think you'll need that to recover. Good luck. Uh, and guys? I think now that your car's out of commission, you're going to have to get the airport bus. But lucky for you two, you live right next to a bus stop. And so SpongeBob and Patrick waited patiently with their suitcases for the bus to arrive. They then boarded the bus. And within a few seconds of Patrick starting the journey, he needed the toilet. It's like travelling with toddlers when you go anywhere with these two. Oh wait a minute, that was very quick. That doesn't look as though you've gone too far, far away. Ah, that's because you got on the local bus. But don't worry, the far, far away bus should be coming through within the next couple of minutes. Mmm. Now those don't sound like fast food cooking noises now, do they? Come on, follow me, let's go and have a closer look at what Plankton's up to. Okay, so we have a partially completed bomber jet, crates of ammunition, an almost complete tank, and some sort of robot that you can operate from the inside. I think Bikini Bottom aren't gonna know what's hit them when these are finished, but let's worry about that another time. Right, Patrick, as you need the toilet, I wouldn't personally use the chum bucket, no offence, Plankton. The Krusty Krab's closed, but the bus you're travelling on I know definitely comes with one. Actually, the Bikini Bottom submarine bus has been in operation for years. I've got an old promotional VHS tape lying around here somewhere. Ah oh, yes, here it is. Why don't we watch it while we wait and we can see all the features the bus has? Introducing the latest automobile for luxury, comfort and travel. The Bikini Bottom submarine bus. And starting with the back of the bus, the latest in movement technology, a spinny propeller thing. 
Just look at it go. At the rear of the bus, we also provide a toilet and wash hand basin for your convenience and comfort. Because let's face it, you never know when you have to go. There you go, Patrick, a toilet awaits. On the top, we also provide a periscope so our drivers can see where they're going straight ahead into yet more blue ocean. And inside the bus, the most comfortable green sofa you've ever seen. I bet you just can't wait to get on board and take a seat. And at the bottom, a nice blue button. That horn is just music to my ears. A total of three destinations are provided with this service. You can go downtown, to Bikini Bottom, or far, far away. Forget all the other bus companies, we provide a driver with a smile. Have you ever seen a happier face? Just look how happy. Right, okay, I think we've seen enough of that. And if the bus is on time, it should be here any second now. Okay, SpongeBob, if you load the luggage on board, Patrick, get going to the toilet. Hey, SpongeBob. Ha Never mind. And so SpongeBob and Patrick finally set off on the right bus to far, far away. And now that Patrick had been to the toilet, he was feeling much, much better. Just look how much happier he is. It was going to take over a day to get there, and the bus needed to travel throughout the night. Now normally if you're travelling on an overnight coach, you might be worried the bus driver could fall asleep at the wheel. But with Spongebob and Patrick snoring, there was no chance. When they woke up in the morning, they weren't in Kansas anymore. Or Bikini Bottom for that matter. This far, far away was a very peculiar place. It just got weirder and weirder. Until eventually they arrived at the far, far away airport bus terminal. I didn't even know this place existed. But just look how busy it is! And here we have the bus driver now, leaving them at the airport. And driving straight back the way he came to Bikini Bottom. And so Spongebob and Patrick were left standing at gate one of the airport. Where they spoke to a very nice young lady called Jean. She informed them that she was in charge of gate number one. And they had to make their way to gate 101. Given that this was such a vast distance, she very kindly offered to lend them her motorised baggage trolley. And so Spongebob and Patrick loaded up their luggage and started their trek across the airport. They did take the wrong turn to start with, but soon they were back on track. Travelling past all the main planes and single-seaters, straight past VIP down the far end, and even past a field of flowers until eventually they arrived at their gate. Well boys, well done, you made it. It's been a bit of a holiday already getting here, but also Patrick, I think I can see the reason why your ticket was so cheap. Here's your plane in about 20 pieces. But don't worry, I do this as a day job. All I need is a little music and a cup of tea and away we go. live for these moments, I could do this all day. Okay, I'll stop talking.
if you could just quickly load up the aeroplane and take it off to the runway. I'll go and have a quick chat with SpongeBob and Patrick. Right, well, given that we've just had to build the plane, I assume a pilot to fly it is probably out of the question. So, do either of you two have any flying experience? You do, Patrick. You know how to take off and fly a plane, but not how to land one. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Let's just worry about that when we get to the other side. Okay, boys, it finally looks as though we can get going on holiday. So if you just make your way over to the plane and load your luggage on board, we can get on our way. Wow, just wow. I've only seen baggage handling skills like that by the professionals. You boys just have natural talent. Right, Patrick, if you want to head to the cabin and familiarise yourself with the controls, I'll speak to the air traffic controller on the gate and clear the runway for takeoff. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh no, Patrick's taxiing down the runway and he's left SpongeBob behind. But don't worry, SpongeBob, I have a plan. It involves this. And this. So get ready, my spongy little friend. You're about to experience Max 4. Quick, Patrick, pop the roof. That's it, SpongeBob, floor it. Now hit the Mac 4 button and jump. Phew, you've just made it in time, SpongeBob. Well done. And yes, that is my arm, you see there. Patrick doesn't have a clue how to take off in a plane, but I haven't got the heart to tell him. Just look how happy he is. Now, the only problem we've got here is because the roof is off, the cabin is now depressurized. So we're going to have to fly at low altitude. But there are its advantages. Patrick can now stand up properly in the cabin. And we get to have a beautiful view of what's beneath us. So, as our heroes fly through the sky, Patrick can't help but think he's forgotten something. And Spongebob, well, he's still recovering from his Mac 4 experience. Oh, and you'd have thought Patrick would have used all the modern instruments on the plane to navigate where he was going. But as he was flying so low, he decided to look out of the window instead and follow landmarks. So this ended up taking them over Adventure Bay, where they could see a rescue going on down beneath them. Oh, look, it's the Paw Patrol and Captain Turbot over the top of Pirate Bay, where they can see the Tomy Aquafun pirate ship. And finally off the coast of Neverland, where they saw their friend, Captain Hook. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good at all. Yep, I know what it is you forgot, Patrick. Jet fuel. Hold on tight, engine one's out. Engine two is out. Hello, gravity. Okay, boys, we're going down. There's only one thing we can do. We're going to have to make a jump for it. Are you ready? No, stop that. They were flying that low. It was just a small jump into the water. Well, Spongebob and Patrick have to be the two luckiest characters around. Not only did Patrick fly in completely the wrong direction and crash land within a stone throw bikini at all, but Grandpa Pig, Pepper and George happened to just be sailing in the area where they landed. And being the kind souls that they are, they offered to give them a lift along the final leg of their journey. Whilst on board, Patrick asked Grandpa Pig if it would be possible to have a go at steering his boat. Grandpa Pig thought for a while, but as Grandpa Pig looked to his left and could see the evidence of Patrick's aviation skills floating in the water, and to his right where he could see Patrick's previous nautical skills, he kindly declined the request. Sorry Patrick. And so they reached Bikini Atoll and dived back home to the safety of Bikini Bottom. Now that our heroes have returned home, let's reflect on what we've learned today. Well, for starters, Spongebob, he's learned not to leave Gary at home with an empty bowl of food, because Gary ate the entire contents of his house whilst he was away. That's right, he ate all of Spongebob's bedroom furniture, 
the stone, the bathtub, and even the entire contents of SpongeBob's lounge, including his TV. Nice one, Gary. And as for Patrick, well, he's learnt absolutely nothing. He's just gone out and bought himself the cheapest, oldest camper van he can find. It's a very nice camper van, mind. Just look at it. Isn't it lovely? And it comes with everything you'd expect, including two deck chairs and a table. Not to mention a kitchen, sleeping area and bathroom. But I think we've had enough fun for today, don't you? Maybe another time. Oh, and did I forget to say that Patrick's already damaged the wheel arch on the way here? This doesn't bode well. And as for Squidward, well, you'd swear by now he would have considered moving house. I mean, just look how lucky SpongeBob and Patrick were. The sinking plane debris completely missed their homes and migrated towards Squidward's home like a magnet. I don't know about you, but I think that looks like a modern art masterpiece. Especially with one of the wheels stuck out the roof. But I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Better luck next time, Squidward. Well, boys and girls, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching and see you again soon. Toodle pip!